the diseases and medical conditions we encounter are the diseases of poverty, abject poverty. Much of what we address would not be there if it weren't for the level of poverty in these nations. We're working in a part of the world where roughly 30 to 50 percent at least of the population do not have access to health care. You know, if I get a small bump on my chin in the West, in Europe, and the United States, you'll get looked at rather rapidly. But uh, in West Africa, uh, there's no one to look at it in many places, either by financial means they can't afford to get looked at, or they, there's physically nobody there. And so you take that combined with other issues of malnutrition, um, difficult living circumstances, and you, you create these compounded problems that we would never see in the U.S. or Europe. Most of them are rejected. Most of them are outcast, even by their own family, by the society, thinking it's a curse. When a patient gets a surgery on board, obviously suffering is alleviated, which is very important. But it means, in many cases, they can re-enter society. Particularly in West Africa, there's an element of being able to be a full participating member again that is just priceless. I think even in the West, even in other parts of the world, one recognizes that true healing does not occur unless you have the spiritual aspect uh, also involved in a positive way. And I think what Mercy Ships does is represent us with a brilliant example of this. I think that Mercy Ships is really a reflection of Jesus. Mercy Ships represents restoration in addition to the treatment and the healing. It represents a lot of hope for a lot of people. I be so like me or dona a vinha. San, they can pon a vinha doa, un pon a be, et on vovo. Cacare jibi queen by la filina be, a me a latin one not be. Cacala on do. No, quite a one is now. Walking more over me. Webe, <laughs> this hospital ship in with the state-of-the-art platform with world-class treatment surgeons nurses professionals from all over the world offering this free of charge at the highest standards is unique if you talk to any of the government leaders as I have whether it's the president of Liberia the president of Ghana president of Togo they will tell you how beneficial Mercy Ships has been not only for their people, but also in terms of a lasting impact. Mercy Ships is particularly good at providing not just training, but training with an imbued sense of needing to pass on the training. And within that, retaining those who have been trained to be useful within their countries. I think that is a hugely invaluable resource that Mercy Ships provides. I think that uh, in Mercy Ships we are an expression of God's love for people. Regardless of where, the, where they've come from, what they think, what they believe, to value them, to honor them, to say to them by caring for them with their physical, uh, surgical needs, you have value, you're not rubbish. It's a very important message that we bring.